14 Celebrities King Charles Secretly Dislikes King Charles ascended to the British throne in 2022 after the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth. During his many decades as Prince of Wales, King Charles developed a reputation as both a serious royal and a bit of a grumpy old man. Though King Charles is diplomatic in public, over the years, various reports have emerged about celebrities and public figures that displease him. In this video, we've compiled a list of 14 celebrities that King Charles allegedly dislikes. Some of these famous faces have publicly feuded with the royal family over the years, others have rubbed King Charles incorrectly with their antics or personalities. A few may have committed an etiquette faux pas that the king cannot abide. Regardless of the reasons, King Charles allegedly does not care for any of the celebs we're about to discuss. Number 1. Madonna There were rumors in the 1990s that King Charles felt Madonna's overtly sexual persona and provocative music videos and lyrics set a bad example that could negatively influence young people, especially with the AIDS epidemic ongoing at the time. Though Madonna reportedly asked to meet King Charles on a few occasions, he allegedly declined through AIDS. However, these reports were largely hearsay and speculative media rumors. As Prince of Wales, King Charles tended to prefer more conservative artists and disapproved of perceived vulgarity in popular culture. However, any disfavor towards Madonna specifically was likely private. Since King Charles became king in 2022, there has been no evidence of him commenting negatively on Madonna. Their lack of public interactions could imply distaste or simply differing interests in social circles. Number 2. Sarah Ferguson As the ex-wife of Prince Andrew implicated in various financial and sexual misconduct scandals, Sarah Fergie Ferguson's antics have frequently embarrassed the royal family. According to reputable reports, the former Duchess of York's tabloid courting behavior particularly perturbed more decorous senior royals like King Charles who temporarily barred Fergie from family events for fear of tarnishing reputations. Fergie's 2018 deal to sell exclusive palace access to undercover reporters likely further strained ties with the guard-conscious royals. However, it's now speculated that King Charles maintains cordial relations with his former sister-in-law, but the new monarch will likely remain wary of Fergie's loose cannon tendencies, causing possible media headaches at a transitional time for the constitutional monarchy. Number 3. Ricky Gervais Though popular comedian Ricky Gervais has never directly mocked or criticized the royal family in his stand-up comedy, his signature caustic style often spares no one when making controversial jokes about religion, politics, celebrity culture, and other touchy topics. As such, reputable UK media outlets have speculated that the humor of Gervais and other edgy comedians likely does not personally appeal to more conservative royal family members like King Charles. Gervais' atheist views also clash with King Charles' vocal defense of religious freedom. However, Gervais has never made King Charles the direct subject of jokes. Given differing worldviews and senses of humor, King Charles may not personally approve of Gervais' brand of inflammatory comedy, but as reigning monarch aiming to unify an increasingly diverse Britain, he's unlikely to openly critique the popular performer. Number 4. Johnny Rotten as lead singer of the punk revolutionary band Sex Pistols, who wrote the infamous anti-monarchist ode, God Save the Queen, Johnny Rotten, birth name John Lydon, became the poster child for 1970s British youth rebellion against establishment institutions like the royal family. King Charles was reportedly very distressed by the provocative song and the broader punk movement. It had been historically speculated that he took the Sex Pistols lyrics as a personal attack and found their nihilistic punk values extremely distasteful. For his part, though, Lydon has been equivocal in recent years about whether his lyrics call for the monarchy's death or are more symbolically anti-authoritarian. Since becoming king in 2022, King Charles has not commented publicly about the Sex Pistols or Lydon. While Lydon likely will always view the monarchy as an obsolete hierarchy, he's indicated respect for the late Queen Elizabeth on a personal level. His views on King Charles remain to be seen. Number 5. Simon Cowell Music and TV producer Simon Cowell's enjoyed major success with reality talent competitions like American Idol and Britain's Got Talent, 
which have launched major pop careers like One Direction and Susan Boyle. However, critics have accused Cowell of prioritizing commercial success over artistry and contributing to the degradation of popular culture. As someone who tends to prefer classical music and more highbrow artistic tastes, speculation was rife that King Charles looked down on pop culture phenomena like Simon Cowell and the reality TV genre. However, Cowell received an MBE honor from King Charles himself in 2018 for services to the entertainment industry and charity. Cowell praised King Charles' long record of philanthropy. Since King Charles became king in 2022, he does not appear to have publicly commented on Cowell or reality television. Thus, while their interests and sensibilities differ, there's no direct evidence King Charles either favors or disfavors Simon Cowell. Their relationship seems largely indifferent. Number 6. The Spice Girls As the best-selling female group of all time, the Spice Girls were a global phenomenon in the mid-late 1990s as leaders of the Cool Britannia era under Tony Blair. Known for their bold personas like Ginger Spice and Girl Power lyrics, the group had an audience with King Charles in 1997 after performing for his Prince's Trust charity. Famously, Jerry Halliwell pinched King Charles' bum during their handshake, which made headlines as a breach of protocol. King Charles seemed amused and took the incident in good humor during a stressful time amidst his divorce from Diana. However, this could indicate that behind the scenes, King Charles found the Spice Girls and their cheeky public persona to be lacking appropriate respect. It's speculated that more traditional palace courtiers disapproved and felt their conduct was overly familiar given their commoner status. Still, King Charles has never made public comments against the group. Number 7. Russell Brand British comedian Russell Brand is known for his provocative, progressive political views and battles with addiction and mental illness he's frankly detailed in best-selling memoirs and stand-up material. An advocate for issues like wealth inequality and environmentalism, the flamboyant performers criticized authority figures like politicians and billionaires for not doing enough to help vulnerable members of society. While not directly criticizing the royal family's wealth and status, speculation existed that the more conservatively-minded King Charles may have disapproved of Brand's liberal anti-establishment stances and found his irreverent humor tasteless. However, since becoming King Charles, Brand has spoken positively of the late Queen Elizabeth's public service while making no comments about the new monarch specifically. Given his history of progressive activism, Brand isn't likely to self-censor criticism if he strongly opposed King Charles' policies. His present neutrality indicates that while King Charles may still differ in personal sensibilities from Brand's provocative public persona, there's no direct animosity from either side. Number 8. Morrissey As lead singer of seminal 1980s indie band The Smiths, Morrissey won critical acclaim but stirred controversy with lyrics advocating vegetarianism and critiquing British institutions like the monarchy, government, and meat industry. Diagnosed with depression, Morrissey cultivated an artistic outsider persona at odds with mainstream society. In a 1992 interview, he accused Queen Elizabeth of not using the royal's power to enact positive change at home and across the British Empire and Commonwealth. However, Morrissey stressed his critique was political, not personal. Moss's Republican views reportedly alarmed Buckingham Palace courtiers. While King Charles never publicly feuded with Morrissey, speculation existed that the singer's anti-monarchist rhetoric and depressive persona proved problematic for King Charles as he sought to modernize the crown's image as out of touch. However, since becoming king in 2022, King Charles has issued no statement against Morrissey, while Moz has released no songs criticizing the new monarch. In recent years, Morrissey's lyrics have moved away from political themes to focus on lost love and mortality. While the 1980s-90s era Morrissey may have bothered King Charles, King Charles today likely ignores the veteran indie crooner as harmless and increasingly irrelevant. Number 9. Paul McCartney as a beloved living legend of British pop music, Paul McCartney might seem above reproach, but rumors existed that King Charles felt competitive and self-conscious towards Paul's vast cultural legacy as part of the Beatles. Speculation persisted that King Charles, a lifelong classical music fan as patron of the arts, 
looked down on the Fab Four as lowbrow pop. Reputable media outlets reported King Charles even privately blamed Paul and John Lennon's lyrics for eroding youth respect for authority and tradition in the 1960s Cultural Revolution. However, publicly, King Charles has shown no ill feeling, bestowing a knighthood on McCartney in 1997 and trusting him to organize Queen Elizabeth's star-studded Diamond Jubilee concert in 2012. For his part, McCartney's only praised Queen Elizabeth and spoken warmly of meeting young Prince William and Harry. Since King Charles became king in 2022, McCartney performed at the Platinum Jubilee and paid tribute to Her Majesty upon her death. While their musical interests differ and King Charles may struggle to escape the Beatles' cultural shadow, there's no open feud evident between the new king and the iconic pop star. Number 10. Elton John Another British pop rock superstar rumored to be disliked by King Charles for spreading countercultural values was Elton John. Speculation existed that the conservative heir to the throne looked down on flamboyant Elton, known for attention-grabbing costumes and openly gay lifestyle, as too flashy and lacking traditional dignity expected of British public figures. However, Elton was also a close personal friend of King Charles' ex-wife, the beloved Princess Diana. After Diana's shocking 1997 death in Paris, Elton publicly criticized the royal family for stripping Diana of HRH status in the wake of her bitter divorce from King Charles. At Diana's funeral, Elton re-recorded his hit song, Candle in the Wind, as a tribute, tapping into public anger against the crown for mistreating the people's princess. Resentment likely lingered privately between Elton and senior Windsors, yet following Queen Elizabeth's death, King Charles appears eager to bury old grudges, rehabilitate reputations, and project unity. Recently, Elton performed outside Buckingham Palace to honor Her Late Majesty, indicating whatever friction once existed between him and King Charles has publicly mellowed. Number 11. Meghan Markle As an American TV actress marrying the popular Prince Harry, Meghan Markle was initially welcomed by King Charles and the royal family in 2018. However, tensions reportedly grew behind the scenes over Meghan and Harry's demands for privacy, stepping back from senior royal duties, and controversial public statements seeming to criticize the family. In a 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan implied racism and lack of mental health support from Buckingham Palace while discussing suicidal thoughts. Though not targeting King Charles specifically, many saw this as a betrayal during his aging mother Queen Elizabeth's last fragile years. Despite King Charles helping finance the couple's new independent life in California, the relationship was said to be strained. Since King Charles became king, Harry reportedly reached out to heal the rift, but much distrust remains, especially with courtiers judging Meghan as manipulative. Having taken on Diana's humanitarian legacy, King Charles may hope to eventually repair the bond for his grandchildren's sake, but Meghan's continued high-profile activism could cause future tension with the apolitical king. Number 12. Hugh Grant Iconic British romantic comedy actor and heartthrob Hugh Grant was a contemporary of King Charles at England's Oxford University as a fellow art student in the 1960s and 70s. But while King Charles led an austere cloistered life in preparation for monarchy, Hugh embraced the era's burgeoning celebrity culture and sexual revolution. While Grant's debonair screen image charmed millions, his 1995 arrest for lewd public conduct with a sex worker badly damaged his clean-cut reputation. As Grant rebuilt his career playing caddish charmer, speculation existed that proper royal family supporters like King Charles frowned on the movie star's louche morals. However, Grant also emerged as a passionate anti-press advocate after Murdoch tabloids hacked his phone, aligning with public anger over media harassment that plagued Princess Diana and Princess Catherine. Grant even fictionalized a story of journalists hacking royal voicemails in his 2018 miniseries, A Very English Scandal. Since becoming king, Charles faces intensifying media scrutiny himself. If Hugh continues championing stricter press regulations, this could rehabilitate his standing with King Charles, despite their divergent values. Number 13. Piers Morgan the provocative British media personality long stirred controversy as a tabloid editor and CNN Fox News anchor, prone to aggressive attacks on public figures he deemed immoral, 
or guilty of hypocrisy. This included harsh criticism of Princess Diana, Princess Catherine, Duchess Meghan, and other female royals for perceived weakness, duplicity, or greed. In dismissing Meghan's mental health claims against the palace, Morgan created such public backlash in 2021 that he formally left the UK show Good Morning Britain. However, reputable reports indicated Queen Elizabeth herself had no personal issues with Morgan's journalistic style and maintained appearances of cordiality when encountering him over the years. Since King Charles became king, Morgan continues directing public tirades against Harry and Meghan while praising senior royals, especially the late queen. But King Charles himself has avoided commenting on Morgan. While the new king likely disapproves of such vitriolic punditry, he cannot be seen directly attacking freedom of the press. Thus, an uneasy tension persists between Pierce Morgan's brand of sensationalism and King Charles' reserved dignity. Number 14. Sasha Baron Cohen Known for gonzo comedic personas like Ali G, Borat, and Bruno that subversively exposed prejudice by interviewing unsuspecting real figures, British satirist Sasha Baron Cohen built a career on audacious political and social commentary. His 2012 film The Dictator brazenly mocked figures from Saddam Hussein to Gaddafi. Reputable UK outlets reported senior royal family members, including King Charles, saw Cohen's outrageous methods more crude than satirical. Speculation existed that King Charles found mocking world leaders needlessly offensive and feared the comedian could inspire further irreverent parody of British institutions. However, Charles maintained public indifference to Cohen. Since becoming king, Charles faced growing calls to allow gentler modernized parody of the monarchy while avoiding overt mockery that could undermine symbolic authority. The new king claims willingness for the crown to evolve with contemporary expectations. It remains unclear if Sasha Baron Cohen's edgy humor fits within that vision. With Boris Johnson mired in scandal, Cohen may find riper UK satirical targets anyway. But caricaturing the earnest king risks public rebuke. And those are just some of the celebrity personalities that King Charles has allegedly disfavored over his decades in the public eye. Of course, any true feelings by the new monarch are largely speculative based on secondhand media reports about his private opinions and sensibilities. King Charles is too decorous to publicly critique artists, entertainers, or public figures himself. What celebrity do you think would least appeal to King Charles' reserve temperament? Do you expect the king will relax some of the royal family's protocols and traditions when it comes to interactions with pop culture celebrities? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and also click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.